Hi guys, welcome back to Crypto Gains for another video. In today's video, I'm going to give you guys uh, a step by step tutorial on how to stake your Zilliqa because I had this question put to me and I saw it in my comments and I thought, you know what? Is as simple as it is for some people, you know, there's a lot of new people in the industry and you know they want to know how to stake so they can create a passive income. So I thought I'd do this for you and I'm really gonna try and break it down and make it easy for you guys, okay? So if you are new watching, please drop a like, give me a subscribe, and uh, even though I'm doing a tutorial, I still need to let you know this is not <laughs> financial advice, it's just my own personal opinion on everything that I do, uh, especially with the market prices and all that stuff. So please always do your own research before investing any money. It's just something, something I've got to say, like with every video, you don't get my words twisted up there. And anyway, guys, let's check this out, okay? Because most people want to know how to stake your Zilliqa. I go to this website here, zilliqastaking.com. Uh, you know, you can you can stake your Zilliqa with many different types of wallets uh, if you are let me help you understand this some people will have uh, uh, nodes uh, create nodes and I'm guessing that's the part for operators that's what they sign into if you are someone that wants to delegate your stake saying if you've got for example a thousand Zilliqa in in a wallet you click on sign in for delegators you could have any type of wallet a key store wallet ledger a zil pay whatever kind of wallet you've got there are other ways to stake your zilliqa as well like you can use atomic wallet uh, you can use zillet.io uh, but i'm going to show you just this one an example because i think it's a uh, very user friendly very simple easy to to use and as you can see it looks very very simple and obviously once you click the ledger it would then ask you to connect your ledger wallet uh, you plug it in that's if you're using a ledger by the way and yeah I'm just gonna quickly pop up another window here because I've obviously got it pretty much here open already and then it once you've signed in it will bring you to a page like this so this is basically the main overall page of what your staking looks like it will show you the estimated real-time uh, uh, what is it like an ROI return on investment they say APY there annual mm, don't know what the P stands for <laughs> but it's a return on investment it's a, a short uh, oh, percentage yeah maybe that's what it that means basically every year you gain 17% on your stake rewards that is absolutely insane uh, stake percentage rewards considering that you know the average bank usually gives you like 0.1 percent interest it's basically like an interest rate in the bank for example if you put your money into an ISA some people put money into an ISA account because they think oh you know I'm gonna get three percent interest every year guys this is 17 percent interest on your stake rewards so that's what that bit is here this is probably obviously dimmed out because you uh, I'm trying to be a little bit protective of what I have and stuff but here will show uh, your total deposits of how much you've put in uh, into staking and uh, over here shows the block rewards it this number just goes down every day and when it gets to zero it resets again and that's basically uh, almost like I think it shows uh, the blocks that are tra uh, obviously been get my words out transacted <laughs> how many blocks left until you receive your rewards basically so I need to bang my chest there I got kind of burp action going on anyway uh, this will show your gzil and how much gzil you will uh, will res receive literally my words if you are new to Zilliqa and want to understand what gzil is it's a governance token and you get it for every time you receive a thousand Zilliqa Every time you stake a thousand Zilliqa, you get one zip, one G zero. Okay, so that's basically what that is there. And this is the uh, the rewards that you've claimed. Uh, and over here is unclaimed G zero. So that's the stuff I can click to to claim. And obviously here, this is my unclaimed Zilliqa, which I can click to claim my rewards. I'm just sitting it in there for a minute. Uh, but yeah, let me take you to the next uh, part of what you do. If you scroll down. If you scroll down, you'll get to this part here. It shows the staked nodes. So you can choose where you want to stake your uh, Zilliqa. Um, I mean, they're all pretty much, you know, good to use. I, I haven't seen any 
any with a major problem. I mean, things like this, KuCoin with zero, I probably wouldn't touch that. <laughs> Same with this one here. That's me personally. But, you know, I'm not here to tell you where to stake. That's something you can do, you know, make up your own mind and do your own research. But, you know, Zillette is like the Zillette.io. If you're going to try and stake with a ledger, it, you know, it takes you to Zillette.io. That's that one there. And, uh, yeah, so the percentage is... Uh, the commission rate is what they receive as commission for obviously allowing you to delegate your stake to their node um you know some have higher commission rates than others so you might want to do a little research on which one to go with uh, but yeah guys you know atomic wallet seems to be very popular a lot of people are staking on atomic wallet this is the node of the atomic wallet okay uh, but i'm guessing people are staking to it because they you know they're, they're it's a popular wallet for staking uh, I think it does other cryptos as well, but I'm just I'm not sure on that. Drop a comment if you if you know more than me on that. Uh, but yeah, you know these are the ones you can use. I use Zilicacy purely for the fact I'm using their website, and I I believe it's uh I, I should I say quite stable for the node. And uh, yeah, obviously the commission rate is five. But guys, to be honest, the commission rate does not determine the amount of uh, uh, rewards that you receive. That's just the commission rate that they're gonna take. Um, but yeah, you know, this is what I'm using at the moment. And uh, all you do really is you click stake. And then, you know, it says how much would you like to stake. Shows the wallet address that you're going to uh, obviously put your stake into. and Or the node, should I say. You enter the amount that you want to stake. And then you just click stake. And that is pretty much it. It's that simple. And uh, once you just, it obviously takes you through like a screen of uh, uh, staking your Zilliqa and uh, obviously or to confirm it to confirm every piece that you want to stake your zilliqa and that's pretty much it in that respect and then obviously coming back to this screen now here you can uh, click on manage uh, obviously down here would show the node that you stake you chose to stake it will show how much you chose to stake and then obviously the rewards or this will start to build up most people might panic when you first see, uh, start staking because you might not see any rewards for like at least a week uh, it's not always but sometimes I think it's because they they go through a phase of setting up your rewards to be staked so don't panic if you know you, you stake today and then tomorrow or the next day or the next day you don't see anything just be patient because it has to go through a process in order to recognize the amount of coins you've chose to stake and then obviously you just start receiving your stake rewards daily uh, but yeah um, what you can do as well there's a option here called manage you can click on that every time you see your rewards you can claim your rewards if you want to uh, or you can let it, you know grow a bit more and claim them at any time you want and uh, the transfer stake means that if you wanted to change your stake to another node you can do that but I don't know because you might be someone that wants to go to a node that has less commission rate you know and then obviously once you feel like you're ready to take your stake out this is what you click down here withdraw your stake i mentioned this in the last video if you're going to withdraw your stake because you know prices have shot up high and you want, you want to obviously turn your 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 rewards into or you just want to take your stake and take some profits <laughs> you're going to have to wait around 10 days for you to receive your stake so always plan 10 days ahead before you withdraw so you know if you feel like the prices are going to go sky high and you want to take some profits or you want to take your stake the, the money that you so the zilliqa that you've been staking try and plan 10 days ahead because that's how long it's going to take to unbound your stake okay uh, but yeah guys that is pretty much it for this video it's not it, uh, i don't want to like really get too technical with you guys because i want to try and keep it really simple that is pretty much how you stake your rewards with zilliqa uh but yeah you know if there is anything that you want to know if i've missed anything please drop a comment down below and i'll try and answer it for you and uh, yeah that's pretty much it guys if it did help you please drop a like give me a subscribe if you're new watching and yeah check out my other videos you know i talk about all sorts of things you know zilliqa hitting 52 dollars insane i know <laughs> you know what it makes sense when you watch it right it really does it's zilliqa staking passive income check that sort of stuff if you're into that uh, i'll see you guys in my next video thanks for watching cheers